Is casual sex bad for you as a woman? I mean, what's the problem with having a guy friend that you hang out with, spend some time with, and if you hook up, you hook up? Couldn't be that bad, right? What if I told you it actually traumatizes you, but you don't even realize how? Which is why on today's show, we're going to be answering the very important question, is casual sex bad for you as a woman? And if so, how can you avoid being traumatized by an experience that was supposed to bring you pleasure? Number one, if I was a boy mentality, I never want you to think, oh, I'm having this conversation with you today because I know what's best for your life and I wanna tell you what to do because I'm the king and I know everything. I don't know nothing, I'm just a regular human being. But what I do know is that from my own perspective as a guy, one of the greatest things known to mankind for us men who want to play women and get what we want for, from women is hookup culture. Is because we get to use hookup culture against you. We feed it to you, encourage you in it, convince you that you should think more like the guys and be more like the guys. Why? Because then you sleep with us for free. We put in no work, no effort. We spend no money on dates. We don't even have to pretend like we like you. If I was a boy syndrome is the idea that, and this is not all your fault. It's also the fault of everyone around you who has been encouraging you in this mindset. Oh, because you're a woman and you see that the men in your life and that you watch, they're all able to sleep with you and sleep with multiple other girls and seemingly be able to be like sociopaths. They don't have feelings. They're, they're not ever sad. I see that the guys are able to do it. They never get attached. When I sleep with the guy, I make it a big thing. I'm like, I'm investing in him and I'm thinking, what are we gonna be? And how are we gonna build this? And where is it gonna end up? I think it would be better if I was a cool girl too. I'm gonna be like the boys. Cause if I was, if I'm like more of the boys, then maybe they'll like me because I'm as cool and I'm as chill as they are. This is why we're here today. I want to erase all of that thinking and thought process from your mind. You as a woman have your own set of responsibilities, skill sets, uh, quality traits, all that good stuff that you possess that the men don't. That's perfectly fine. That's how we were meant to be. Okay. Different. That's fine. I want you to understand something. I'm your friend. So I can acknowledge that it is a double standard. I can't help you change the world into a utopia where things are never unfair. If you sleep with guys casually for free, right? When I say for free, I just mean you give yourself emotionally and spiritually away to those men for nothing. They will only mistreat you. They will only take advantage of you. And what will happen is a very important point that we're going to discuss all throughout this. In the, at the end of the day, because you are not a man and you're not built like a man emotionally and spiritually and the process of you sleeping with a man is you receiving him into you and i'm not just talking about physically i'm talking about emotionally and spiritually receiving him into you that's always going to impact you on a level that the men can never understand number two cultural pressure i want all of you paying very very close attention to this part. Like we just talked about, the boys are gonna try to convince you as well that this is good for you and this benefits you and yes, go you, that we can be casual and sleep together and it not be a big deal. Ironically enough, women are also convincing you of that in the culture that you exist in today. And it's most prevalent in the music that you listen to, okay? And I listen, I know today's show is going to sound very spiritual, way deeper than it ever has to be. But I, I, that's just how we do it on the Players Club. OK, because the music that you listen to, unbeknownst to you, is actually helping to brainwash you into believing that you should be living your life and going your, about, about your life in a particular way. And the craziest thing about it is there's a whole snowball effect because not only is it about the artists that you listen to and what they're saying in the music, you also repeat that back when you're speaking that music or you're singing along with that music. So you're speaking that into existence for your life. So you begin manifesting that into your own life because you're speaking it out from your mouth. 
And then on top of that, you also hear other people listen to the same music, enjoy the same music. So then when they speak it out loud and they're championing it, it makes it even more concrete evidence for you in your own mind that this is how you should be living your life because you see other people championing that same mindset when, when everyone is talking about the same thing right and you're hearing the same thing from multiple people all the time you start to believe that maybe that's how i should be listen, living my life and you don't want to accept that that you might be different that you might not be able to experience uh, such an intimate experience of receiving a man into you and just not be attached with him and just have casual pineapples with him number three so hookup culture exists in ways that are even more subtle than what you're listening to or what you're watching if i were to ask you what is the easiest way to go find a new guy to hook up with majority of you would say the easiest way for me to find a random guy to hook up with right now is to go on tinder because I can message anyone that I want to swipe right a couple times and I can find someone that will hook up with me right now, today, tonight. Why is a dating app one of the first places you would go to find a casual hookup? This has become part of the issue. You swipe left and you swipe right on a thousand people. So it's whatever. So I say that to say this is the part part of the mindset that gets fed into you. And it starts to convince you that spending your time in places with people is not that big of a deal. And I want to hold you here because this is a very important point that I, I want to make to you. Part of hookup culture and part of the trick of hookup culture that's actually hurting you is you being convinced that your time is not valuable. I really want you paying attention here. He's not even boyfriend material, but I do like his D game and he is cool to hang out with. So I'll just hang out with him and sleep with him casually. But I know that this is not going up, going to end up anywhere. Hookup culture has convinced you that your time is not so valuable that you should be able to just waste it on people and men in relationships or friendships that you know aren't going anywhere. You convince yourself though of the narrative that this is for your pleasure and your fun and because you're either emotionally unavailable because of your last relationship or because this guy isn't even who you're looking for in terms of boyfriend material anyways, that the best way to utilize your time now instead of healing yourself from that past relationship or instead of cutting this guy off and only spending your time and energy on someone who you can see things going somewhere with you instead say well since i'm not ready for a relationship or you're not who i'm looking for rather than doing all that hard work because that's a lot of hard work and we hook up we have some fun and i can just chill not think too hard not really focus my time and energy on on too much not care about a whole lot and we can just waste time now number four is the can't beat them join them mentality let's say you're you're going out on four to five dates with a guy you like him things are going well this is maybe about two months ish of you going out on dates with him and things are going pretty good you're really starting to invest yourself in this guy and you like this guy then after around the fifth date you notice that he's not texting you as much and you're kind of like huh that's kind of strange he used to text me all the time now sometimes he'll go a whole day without messaging me and then after a week of that he starts to go multiple days without messaging you and you're thinking what's going on and then by the third week you're realizing that you guys haven't gone out on a date in three weeks and he barely even talks to you and he barely even messages you and he definitely doesn't call you anymore after a while you start accepting the fact that you know what i just don't think that you are showing me that you're interested in me or showing me what i'm looking for rather than saying that and then saying okay since you've shown me that i'm gonna cut you off now instead you say i guess since you're not showing me that you're ready to be a boyfriend i guess we can downgrade this to us just being friends and I guess we can casually hang out when me and you both have time. That way, I'm not so, I don't have so many expectations of you, but that way also, I don't actually have to cut you off. And if I do wanna still have fun with you or do wanna still spend some casual time with you, I can still casually spend some time with you. So you, you try to get ahead of it and join him in on this so you don't feel rejected. You join him in on this by saying, yeah, you know, I thought we were building a romantic thing, but let's just be friends because I don't think it's going to work out in a romantic sense. Stop trying to go uh, from being romantic with someone, realizing that they don't 
properly invest in you or invest the right amount of effort into you and then saying oh i can't i can't beat you at this game that you're playing on me so i'm just going to join you by accepting this idea that we'll be casual friends and we'll just kind of do a thing where we hook up with each other number five you end up with romantic regret it will either end up eventually falling apart because you guys fight you guys disagree there's misunderstandings scenario number two is that this goes on for a period of time and you're enjoying yourself so much because remember you're sleeping with him you're spending time with him and because you're enjoying it right he's got great d game right he's so fun to hang around with you end up saying to yourself well I know that it was supposed to be casual, but I just feel like you don't really treat me like a girl that you really like. And see, once you start thinking like that, it's over. Because the reality, I, I get so mad because I want you to never forget. No human being on this earth feels good when they feel like they're a second class citizen to someone else. So all of the convincing you will try to do for yourself to make yourself believe, hey, this is just for casual fun and I don't care about being his girlfriend. If another girl comes into his life and he replaces you with her and he will start seeing him spend his time with her, taking her out on dates, uh, buying her gifts, uh, saying sweet things to her, texting her while she, you're with him, you're gonna end up feeling hurt by that. Why? Because like I mentioned earlier in the show, you have invested so much time and so much energy in that human being. When you invest that much time and energy into another human being, only to realize that they don't take you as seriously or treat you as much of a priority as you have been treating them, you will always feel horribly about that. Always.